Ciao amici mie! Benvenuti a Calabria! Today's video, I am bringing you to the most spectacular beach in mostly all of Calabria, Caminia. This is a small stretch of beach that is um, pearly white sand and the water is absolutely Caribbean water. It is warm. It's just this little bay that is right between um, Monte Paone and Squilace. So it's about five minute drives from where we live in Monte, uh, Monte Paone. And this is one of the most popular beach destinations in all of Calabria, if not Italy. It has these little houses. You can actually rent these little bungalows. Let me see if I can find some. I'm gonna take it to the other side. You can rent these little bungalows for 390 euros a week. And you basically live right on this beach. And um, it's July right now, so it's not the highest season. August is when things really start to go crazy. And we are here on a Tuesday afternoon, so it's not that hard. But on the weekend, it is impossible to find parking here. And the beach is totally full. But it is one of my favorite beaches and I wanted to make a video. We are having lunch at the most 80s vintage restaurant ever. It's like super old school Calabria. And it's awesome. I'm gonna show you guys the food later on that we ordered at this restaurant, which was classic Italian Calabrian. But I just wanted to show you guys this beach. And let me see if I can zoom in. And that's Pietra Grande right there. So we live just around that bend. So on the other side is Monte Paone, okay? And it's a super popular uh, tourist destination. Like I said, in August, this place is almost impossible. Hi, Lina Booby Head. Come with mommy, we're gonna make a video. Andiamo. Aspetta, amore, che facciamo un video. So, I'm gonna take you guys on a little walk down here to show you see if I can find those little cabanas that you can rent. So you can rent these little houses and they're, oh, let me see, I can't see it. Maybe I'll, I'll take you guys for a little walk, but this beach is everything and there's great snorkeling over there and there's amazing snorkeling over here. You can go around <clears throat> and I usually go snorkeling on the other side because I never really come to Caminia because it's usually just really difficult with parking. But today we decided to come and thank goodness we did. It's not that busy. The food we had was really amazing. I really enjoyed it. And now we're gonna go get an ice cream. Right, Sunny? We're gonna go get an ice cream? Hey guys, we are having lunch and this is my Calabrian salad, which is spicy peppers and tomatoes and onions from Tropea and oregano and basil and it's freaking delicious. Here is Sunny's cotoletta with potatoes. There's Daddy's gluten-free potato chips and gluten-free uh, calamari. And here are the zucchinis that I ordered. And alrighty, guys. Here's the second course. We have a linguine without gluten. Angelo's very happy with the no gluten pasta and clams and what are they even called? Clams, frutti di mare, seafood. Frutti di mare, seafood. See, just seafood. So he had his cotoletto already. He's... How is it? Yeah. Delicioso. And then here is Mama's salsicha. So they open the sausage, like they cut it down the middle, and then they grill it. And yeah, it looks good. It smells delicious. And I'm going to eat it with my salad and my veggies. Ciao. Here we are. We finished lunch. We ate almost everything. It was a fabulous meal. And now let's see. How much do you think it was? What's your guess, honey? Fifty dollars. Fifty euros for half a liter of wine. Maybe less. I think it's. I want to say it's forty. I want to say it's forty euros for all this food. So we'll see. Let's see who's right. Say hi, Sunny Bun. Hi. So this is the entrance into the restaurant that we were just at. I just really love this like wooden look that they have going on here. We're just walking out. Just thought I'd show you what it looks like. And okay. The and then this is the street up where the you come down. Come right here. Yeah. So let's walk, guys. Let's do. So we're going out of the restaurant now, and now we're walking onto the beach. And this. Oh, you can go down here as well. But I think we should just go this way. Give me the, give me the 
Just give mommy the hand. So La Cabana is like a big institution. It has several parts of the restaurant. It has a, a sandwich place. It has uh, everything. And look. In July, you can rent this house. You can rent these little houses for 390, four beds one week. for one week. And it's right on, literally, it's I honestly one. want to do that's this. One. And then look here, here we do um, excursions and fishing trips boats, yeah. with boats. Cassette sul mare, 190 euro al settimana. It's for two people. For two people. Yeah. So even for a, sm for a smaller house, you can get 190. Cool. The umbrella and the bed and the chair for $13. So an uh, umbrella, a bed and a chair, 13 euros a day. Okay, cool. All right, guys, do we walk down this way? Oh, here there is the button. Ah, perfecto. Andiamo qui, amore, perché non c'è le scale. Andiamo così. This is no man. Please stop the Spider-Man. Or look, there's a twister. These ones are great too. He doesn't like twisters? Well, I'm gonna go out on the beach for just a second and show the people what is going on. Yeah, it's so nice. I love it. Right, let's go, guys. I'm gonna show you. While they figure out their ice cream dilemma, let's take you guys out to the water and just see what it's like. So this is a totally different Lidl than the one that we go to in, Calab in Catanzaro. So as you can see, every Lidl is very different and they all have their little things, little chairs. Let's check this water, you guys. Oh, look at that color. You cannot find that color. And let me just show you how clean it is. You're gonna die. Look at this. Here we are. Caminilla. All right, let's go in the water, you guys. Uh, oh, oh, it's so nice. Super clean, you can see all the way to the bottom. People are enjoying their water sports. So yeah, we were just at that restaurant up there. So the super 80s restaurant, which was really good. It was, you know, not the craziest food, but classic food. Calmari, salsiccia, cotoletta. Buonissimo. E allora, let's go see if they figured out the ice cream. So, and also if you walk, by the way, if you go all the way to the end, that water over at the very end is like the warmest water. It's like a pool. And the snorkeling is really great around there. Maybe one day I'll get a waterproof camera and take you guys snorkeling. I love snorkeling here. It's amazing. And then there's that bridge up there that was built by Mussolini. Kind of cool. Love driving up there. All right, guys, let's continue back in. so awkward making these videos because everybody stares at me, but it's okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna end it right here, guys. Ciao, amici. Here we are at the famous, famous Soverato Beach. So out of the most popular beaches in Calabria, I would say Tropea is number one. Caminilla, where we just were, is number two. And Soverato is also number two. You would have to judge which is the better beach. So this is the tip of Soverato and where we live, we live right over there. So we live in the bay more. Montepone is in this bay and Soverato is this tip right here. And uh, right over there is where we had lunch earlier today at Caminilla. And around that bay, is Catanzaro Lido and you can actually see Catanzaro Lido from here. Let's see if I can zoom in all the way. Um, it's all the way over there. So it's about 20 minute drive from here. So just wanted to give you guys what the Bay of the Ionian Sea looks like. So today we went to Caminilla, which is very, very touristy, very, very famous, very, very popular. And Soverato also extremely popular 
extremely famous for Calabrian beaches. As you can see, the sand here is almost perfection. Um, there are better beaches that have wider sand, but Soberato has a big city, which we've done a walk through before. Maybe we'll do another. I'm just close up into it. You see the city of Soberato. And this Lido right here is actually a private club. So this is more like a country club. So there's only like 20 families. You can see the umbrellas are very few in between, but it, it's a yacht club. So people have their boats here. They learn how to sail. Here's some sailing boat coming in right now. Um, so this is a private club. So it's not open to the public. It's a bunch of owners, I guess, have this in the summer. So it's a lot more exclusive, a lot smaller. And I just want to show you guys this water, this beach. Oh, it's so nice today. And the water is warm, like bath water warm. I personally think that Ischia has nicer beaches, but it's kind of more boring out there because there's not a lot going on. I mean, on the scale of beaches throughout the world, the two beaches that I just took you guys to today, Caminia and Sovarato, are literally probably two of the best beaches in the world. Just really clean, has all the conveniences, super clean water. It's a little rocky right now, um, but that's good because then the water doesn't get too warm. And yeah, you could just take a walk down this beach forever. Here's this beautiful sailboat. That looks like so much fun. Let's let them bring it in. Cool, man. I wish I knew how to sail. Maybe I'll take it up. It's kind of cool. Ciao! <laughs> no, see, si, see, si, faccio un video per la mia famiglia negli Stati Uniti che. Non hanno mai visto un mare così bella, ah, vero? Che Calabria è più bella di tutto il mondo. Adesso. Cosa? Devi farlo quando c'è ponente, ah, quando sì? c'è il vento che arriva da terra, uh -huh. è piatto. Eh sì, adesso un po' arrabbiata Dopo diciamo. Dopo le foto, eh, no, io, ma, io, ma io abito qui in Montepaone, ah, allora io conosco bene il mare qua. Sì, sì, scusa che vado. Vai. Ciao. Ciao. Cool, man. So anyways, continuing our little beach walk. So this is a free beach. So free beach means that you can just come and hang out. You don't have to pay for Umbrellone if you don't want to. You just put your own up. And then of course you have another Lido up ahead. But just... And what I love about it is the sand is really fine up here. Like it's really sandy sand and then down here there's pebbles which I like for some reason it's just easier to walk on so I'm just hoping I don't drop my phone but look how like you can see my feet still through the water because that's how clean this water is and yeah this is the bay of Gaioni and Sea Mare di Ionica not a sunny sunny day out today unfortunately but can see up in those mountains where we live anyways guys what do you think which is the better beach Caminia or Soverato I think you can't go wrong guys either one of these beaches personally I think Montepone is my favorite because it's a mix of the two it's easy to get to Caminia is hard to get to there's lots of parking there's no parking here in Soverato it has mixed sand of fine sand and pebbles, whereas this one is just more fine sand and some pebbles. Caminia is all fine sand. So, you know, small little differences. So anyways, I'm just gonna walk back. There's my kiddo laying on the beach. My husband talking. And it's a beautiful day in July. And we wish all of you guys could be here swimming in these beautiful, ancient, magical 
healing waters and your kids could be here just living life we just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and for liking and for subscribing and and for sharing these videos we really want to get people to know more about calabria and eventually get them to come out and visit maybe move maybe buy a second home oh look there's a school of fish in here let's see if you can see it there's a bunch of fishies nice all right guys saying tanti baci tanti abbracci di noi qua in calabria ci vediamo tra poco arrivederci